The world is ours to cherish. Mary, illustrated by Vivian. The world is ours to cherish. A letter to child. There is magic all around you. You can see it when the sun rises in the morning. You can feel it when the rain falls from the clouds. There is magic in the way fish are born to swim and bees are born to fly. You are part of this magic. Your smiles, your laugh, your heartbeat. This world will always be beautiful. It will always be magical. But the world you are growing up in is so different from the world I knew. The ocean has more water, the sky has more storms, the land has more fire. There's fire in here, and then in, up in the clouds there's rain, and then in the ocean there's water. I want to know how much has changed. So you can see how much there is to cherish. So I was planting some flowers. I want to, I want you to cherish the fireflies who light the night sky and the birds who sing to welcome the morning. I want you to cherish the wind that tickles your cheek and the rainbow that peeks behind the clouds. There's a rainbow and the bird. Cherish the breeze that cools you on hot days. Cherish the trees that protect you from the wind. Cherish the sunshine and remember it during storms. All this beauty, all this magic is yours. You belong to it and it belongs to you. Take better care of it than anyone ha has ever, ever has. The world will never stop changing, but you will change it too. You won't do it alone. We'll build a whole new world together. The solar panels and that, the trees, and the planting trees. They're making less pollution. A world where we share each other's joy, the swimming, and hear each other through pain. I think there's a flood. A world where we care for our planet the same way we care for each other. There will be there will be less you and I and more we. Planet over profits now. Save our planet. And the making it. We'll build a world where we take the magic and we have and use it to make more. And then and then they're all holding. I wrote this book for my nephew, who, who was born in 2018, in the throes of climate cause. He now knows me as his crunchy environment aunt, who buys him books about animals, the forest, and oceans. He doesn't know that each time I have bought him a book, I've wondered how much of these beautiful beings and places will would still exist by the time he was old enough to question the world around him. What answers would I have, especially in the world of unimaginable transition? I, we have to make good on our collective responsibility to the next generation. Whenever you are a parent or an aunt or an uncle or a teacher or a cousin or a neighbor, these children need all of us. And we need them. Climate change is real and it is here. But all is not lost. We, we're not too late. It, we're just in time to build a new world with our children. The world isn't ending, it's beginning again. And we get to shape it. Wait, no wait, I need to say something. First steps to changing the world. I'm not gonna read it because I've, re I've already read too much. Thank you, it's the end. The world is ours to cherish, a letter to a child. I want you to cherish the fireflies who lit, lit, light the night sky and the birds who sing to welcome the morning. Cherish the trees that protect you from the wind. Cherish the sunshine and remember it during storms.